So this IXL video is a IXL AA4S9P. So this, um, this week we are doing factoring. So what something means to be a factor is when we graph this, um, for example, like this is my graph. Um, when you graph this, it's going to look like a, a parabola, right? So it could be something like this. And then we're trying to find where our X values are, where it crosses. This is what we're trying to find. Okay. And so factors look like this. It's whatever variable you're using, U and U. And then it's either going to be plus or minus something. And then this is what we are trying to fill in is that blank. All right. So let me show you how to factor. Let me get a different color, go back to blue. Okay, so when we factor, there's two things we need to look at. There, um, there's multiple ways to factor, but I'm gonna show you uh, my way and then I can show, um, I think it just takes practice. There's another way as well, uh, but we'll go through this one first. So the first thing we need to do is there's this number in the middle and then there's this number at the end. Okay, so these two important numbers. We need to find two numbers, I'm going to make a little t-chart. We need to find two numbers that add to be your middle number and multiply to be your back number, okay? That's, we need two numbers that do that. So the first thing you would start with is numbers that multiply to be 12. So we can try 12 and one, because 12 times one is 12, but they don't add to be seven. So we can't use that. Let's try six and two. Six plus two is eight. That, that doesn't work either. So it can't be that pair. But what about four and three? Now four and three both multiply to be 12 and add to be seven. So once you found that magic pair, that's your answer, okay? So what we do is we take these little numbers and we put them like this, X. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a U. It's the, we have to use the variable that they used. So we have U plus four, because that's a positive four, and then U plus three, because that's a positive three. And the reason why we're factoring is if we were to remember last week we did multiplying binomials, and if you were to multiply this out by distribution, you're actually going to get this answer. <laughs> Funny how that works, but that's what we're doing. We're actually going backwards. Okay, so it'd be u plus four in parentheses and then u plus three. All right, so let's do another one. Pick a different color. Um, I don't think we've done rainbow in a while. That sounds like fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and make my t chart. So I need two numbers that multiply to, or I'm sorry, that add to be 20 and multiply to be 19. Well, this one's kind of easy because there's only two numbers that multiply to be 19, and that is 19 and 1. But the cool thing about this is that 19 plus 1 is 20, so I found my numbers. So I'm going to use x plus 19, because that's the positive 19, and x plus 1. How about that? That was easy. Sounds pretty easy. You don't always have to do the t-chart if you can do these in your head. It's just habit. All right, let's do another one. This one's a little bit tricky, okay? This one has a negative sign in front of that 4x. We need something that adds, oh, I'm using, <laughs> I don't know where that one came from, sorry. It needs to add to be negative four, and this back one is also negative, and it needs to multiply to be negative five. All right, so let's make some examples, okay? Well, to be negative, that means one number has to be positive and one number has to be negative. So let's think about this, right? So we can do negative one and five. Negative 1 times 5 gives me negative 5, but when I add them together, I get positive 4. So that pair won't work. But what if I did 1 and negative 5? 
What if I made the five negative? They, this pair both multiplies to be negative five and adds to be negative four. That's my pair. So how I write this is x plus one, because that's a positive one, x minus five, because it's a negative five. So just so you're aware, that's how we figure that out. So it's, so it's not just two plus signs, it's a positive and a negative. All right, last one in this example. And I just like switching up colors all the time. <laughs> all right, so we have, take my T-chart. It needs to add to be negative 10 and multiply to be 16. So let's think of all the things that multiply to be 16. Well, we have eight and two. That multiplies to be 16, but when I do that, that gives me a positive 10. If I add them together, so, and I'm looking for a negative 10, and it will trick you by throwing a negative in there. So it can't be that pair. Let's try 16 and one. That doesn't add to be negative 10. Hmm. We can try four and four. That doesn't add to be negative 10. So now let's keep going. Now let's think about our integer rules. What if we decided to make them both negative? What if I did negative four and negative four? That multiplies to be positive 16, but it only adds to be negative eight. So that can't work. So hold on a second. What about negative eight and negative two? They both multiply to be 16 and add to be negative 10. So we're good to go with that one. Those are my two. So we have x minus eight and x, oops, sorry, it's not an x. We have x minus eight and x, I'm not writing, <laughs> and x minus two. These are both negative, so we're both gonna put them in here. And this is your final answer.